Lionhead Studios. Lionhead Studios Limited was a British video game developer founded in July 1997 by Peter Molyneux, Mark Webley, Tim Rontz, and Steve Jackson. The company is best known for the Black and White and Fable series. Lionhead started as a breakaway from developer Bullfrog Productions, which was also founded by Molyneux. Lionhead's first game was Black and White, a GA game with elements of artificial life and strategy games. Black and White was published by Electronic Arts in 2001. Lionhead Studios is named after Webley's hamster, which died not long after the naming of the studio, as a result of which the studio was very briefly renamed to Red Eye Studios, it was reverted for various reasons. Black and White was followed up with the release of an expansion pack named Lionhead Released Fable, from satellite developer Big Blue Box. In 2005, Lionhead released the movies in Black and White 2. Lionhead was acquired by Microsoft Studios in April 2006 due to encountering financial difficulties. Many Lionhead developers left around this time, including co founder Jackson and several developers who left to found Media Molecule. Molyneux left Lionhead in early 2012, shortly after the resignation of another group of developers who were dissatisfied with the company, to found 22 Cans because he wanted to be more creative. After Molyneux's departure, Microsoft had Lionhead switched to developing games as a service game. As a result, there were many changes within the studio. In March 2016, Microsoft announced that it had proposed closing Lionhead Studios and that the planned game Fable Legends would be cancelled. On April 29, 2016, Lionhead Studios closed down. A few months after Lionhead's closure, two key people, Webley and Gary Carr, who was Lionhead's creative director, founded Two Point Studios. Peter Molyneux founded Bullfrog Productions in 1987, which was later acquired by Electronic Arts, EA, in 1995. Around 1996, Molyneux had contemplated leaving Bullfrog, as he felt limited in his creative freedom under Electronic Arts. He along with Lionhead's eventual co-founders, Mark Webley, Tim Rontz, and Steve Jackson, started developing plans for a new studio. In 1997, Due to a series of events and from issues arising between Molyneux and Electronic Arts, he ultimately left the company in July 1997, co-founding Lionhead shortly after that, along with Mark Webley, Tim Rontz, and Steve Jackson, who co-founded Games Workshop and co-authored the Fighting Fantasy series. On his recruitment, Jackson said it was an offer I couldn't refuse, as he wanted to get back to making games instead of writing about them. Jackson had interviewed Molyneux about Bullfrog and Dungeon Keeper. But for much of it, they discussed German board games instead. This led to the meeting frequently for an event called Games Night. Molyneux assured him that his lack of programming knowledge was an asset rather than a problem. Lionhead is the second bullfrog breakoff group, after Mucky Foot Productions, founded in February 1997. According to Glenn Corpus, who co founded another, Lost Toys, Lionhead was Molyneux's take on what bullfrog used was. The idea of the company was to develop quality games without growing too large. On the differences between Lionhead and Bullfrog, Molyneux said, This time round we are a professionally run company. Gone are the days of shooting work experienced people with guns. He also said that Lionhead would develop only one game at a time. Early Lionhead employees included Demi Sasabis, Mark Healy, Lionhead's first artist, and Alex Evans. The name Lionhead came from Webley's pet hamster. The hamster soon died, which was taken as a bad sign, so other names, including Black Box, Red Rocket, Midnight, and Hurricane were considered but none had unanimous support. The name Red Eye was then suggested, and everyone liked it, the decision needed to be quick as Molyneux was to be interviewed by Edge. However, for reasons including the name being in use by many other companies, the domains RedEye.com and RedEye.co.uk being taken and Lionhead.co.uk already having being registered by Rons, the company already having Lionhead business cards, and the possibility of the name RedEye having drinking connotations, the name was reverted to the Lionhead. By the time the name was reverted, it was too late for Edge to amend their interview, so it was published with the company being referred to as RedEye Studios. In the interview, Molyneux stated that his ambition for the company was to make it a world-renowned software development house, known in Europe, Japan and America for top-quality games. Word about Lionhead began spreading quickly. Within the first month, companies including Sega, Nintendo, Eidos, GTI, and Lego had arranged meetings. One day, a major Japanese console manufacturer had come to present plans for a next-generation console. 
but by then, Lionhead's first game had already been committed. By the end of July, Lionhead had signed a one-game contract with Electronic Arts. The studio was initially run out of Molyneux's mansion in Elstead, before relocating to the University of Surrey Research Park in 1998. According to Jackson, it was a mere stone's throw from Bullfrog's old lily pad on the very same estate. For the staff who had come from Bullfrog, it was a little like coming home. Six companies were competing for a space, and Lionhead won due to Molyneux and Bullfrog's reputation. Lionhead had originally intended to make their first public appearance at the E3 trade show in May 1997. This was cancelled at the last minute because there was no tie at any deal with Electronic Arts, and there was the possibility of not being able to discuss Lionhead. The debut was made in September at the European Computer Trade Show instead. According to Jackson, everyone was interested in Lionhead. Journalists from many major European magazines frequently turned up at Lionhead's suite. By August 1998, after replacing a job advertisement in Edge which received over 100 applications, Russell Shaw had been hired as head of music. Lionhead's first title was Black and White, which was published by Electronic Arts under terms of Molyneux's severance package from Departing Bullfrog. It was released in 2001 to widespread critical acclaim. It won BAFTA awards for interactivity and moving images in 2001, and AS awards for computer innovation and computer game of the year the following year. An expansion pack, was released the following year. In Lionhead's early years, Jackson wrote columns about the company and the development of black and white for magazines such as PC Zone and. The articles were also published on Lionhead's website. According to Eurogamer, Lionhead was a continuation of the culture and development ethic of Bullfrog, which included the playing of pranks. One such prank was one that would go down in Lionhead history. It involved a visit from the mayor of Guilford during the development of Black and White. Healy had inserted a couple of wires into a woolen glove with the other ends put into a floppy drive. Molyneux was forced to explain to the mayor how the game's on screen hand was controlled by the glove, which Healy was wearing, when it was actually being controlled by a mouse with Healy's other hand which were hidden. The mayor fell for the trick. By June 2002, Lionhead had established satellite companies, including Big Blue Box Studios, Intrepid Computer Entertainment, also called Intrepid Developments, and Black and White Studios. Lionhead and its satellite studios had 107 employees and were developing six games, Fable, the movies, a project called Creation, also called Dimitri, Black and White NG, Black and White Next Generation, Black and White 2, and BC, despite Molyneux's earlier statement that Lionhead would only work on one at a time. The idea to form these satellite studios came from Jackson during the development of Black and White. Big Blue Box Studios was founded in July 1998 by Ian Lovett and Simon and Dean Carter, because of a desire to leave electronic arts and the sadly ravaged corpse of Bullfrog it had left behind. Intrepid Computer Entertainment was founded by Joe Ryder and Matt Chilton, and Black and White Studios was headed by Johnny Barnes, who was a programmer on Dungeon Keeper and Black and White. According to Molyneux, the movies came about because Lionhead listened to some financial advisors after the release of Black and White, who said that the company would die if it did not float on the stock market. The company then went for initial public offering, which Molyneux said was the most stupid thing that ever happened because it meant having to expand quickly and develop more games. In the early 2000s, Lionhead was growing very fast. Before Fable shipped, Lionhead purchased Big Blue Box and Intrepid. The decision to merge Big Blue Box with Lionhead was made to accelerate the completion of game. Fable was released in 2004 for the Xbox, and won AS Awards for Outstanding Achievement in Character or Story Development and Outstanding Achievement in Original Musical Composition in 2005. Dimitri was cancelled. In 2003, Gary Carr joined Lionhead. Due to the stock market crash in the aftermath of 9-11, Lionhead sought investments from venture capitalists. Deals with various firms were signed in July 2004. This came at a time when the company needed money for the development of five games to be released by different publishers. In 2005, Lionhead released two titles, Black and White 2 and the movies. Around this time, Lionhead had roughly 220 employees. These titles did not achieve a massive impact in sales. Molyneux described the movies as a disaster due to lack of playtesting. However, it won a BAFTA award for simulation in 2006, and Lionhead soon afterwards encountered financial difficulty. Due to this, on April 6, 2006, Lionhead Studios was acquired by Microsoft. 
Ubisoft was another contender for the acquisition of Lionhead, but Molyneux believed Microsoft to be perfect, and said people wanted the safety and security of being part of something bigger. Microsoft wanted the Fable series to be an Xbox exclusive, and knew that if Ubisoft had acquired Lionhead, it would have gone to the PlayStation 3 instead, a conclusion that Webley concurred with. Lionhead were concerned with securing the company's future and protecting jobs and spent months preparing for the acquisition. Some, such as Andy Robson, head of testing, were dissatisfied with the deal. He claimed Lionhead were trying to cheat him out of money he was owed. Molyneux believed that Microsoft were pleased with the deal and said that they made their money back due to the release of the fantastically successful Fable 2, it won a BAFTA award for action and adventure in 2009, for the Xbox 360 in 2008. In late 2005, Healy left Lionhead with Evans and a couple of other developers to found Media Molecule. Jackson also left in 2006 when Microsoft took over. The general consensus amongst Lionhead was that the buyout benefited Lionhead greatly. Microsoft purchased a lease that enabled Lionhead to expand to multi-plefloors, a canteen, and an office revamp. According to Fable franchise director Ted Timmons, the improvements felt like Lionhead was a real developer. The pranks were also reduced. During the development of Fable 2, Lionhead received death threats because the game featured a gay character and some of the leading characters were black. Microsoft, for the most part, left Lionhead alone during the development of Fable 2 but did ask them to change the icon of a condom, the game featured a dog who was able to dig them up, to a modern one, despite the game being set in an earlier era. Lionhead and Microsoft conflicted over the game's marketing Microsoft believed that role-playing games were about dragons and wanted to market the game as such, despite Lionhead's insistence that the game was a Monty Python-esque comedy. According to Fable art director John McCormack, the marketing was shit and that dragons were dungeons and dragons fair and had nothing to do with Fable. Despite the row, most of the Fable 2 team thought highly of the relationship between Lionhead and Microsoft, and after the game's release, Lionhead won a BAFTA award for the best action-adventure game. There was also a dispute over Fable 3's box art. The game was developed and released in 18 months, but fell short of the expectations set by the previous installment. Six months before its release, Lionhead attempted to integrate Kinect into the game, but failed. In June 2009, Molyneux became creative director of Microsoft Studios' European division, a position he held concurrently with the head of Lionhead. Another Kinect-based project, Milo and Kate was in development but was cancelled. Molyneux blamed the cancellation on Kinect's technology and Microsoft's attitude towards their target market. Its development team moved to, another Kinect game that was released in 2012 and was disastrous. By early 2012, Lionhead were suffering what had been described as Black Monday. Several disillusioned Lionhead veterans, dissatisfied with the way the company was heading, resigned on the same day. According to McCormack, Molyneux lost it and ordered them to leave the premises immediately. Molyneux apologized for this outburst, and soon afterwards, in March, he too left Lionhead and founded 22 Cans, along with Ronce, who had ceased being Lionhead's chief technology officer sometime prior. He was also joined by Paul McLaughlin, who was Lionhead's head of art. Webley then temporarily took over as head of the studio, before being replaced by Scott Henson early the following year. Molyneux said he left Lionhead because he wanted to increase his creativity. He also said that after 12 years, the series began in 2000 by Big Blue Box Studios, everyone was tired of the Fable series. Craig Oman, producer of Fable Anniversary said that Molyneux's departure gave Lionhead an opportunity to re-identify itself. Molyneux's departure had a much greater impact than those of other veterans who had already left the company. Lionhead became more professional and organist according to some staff. One said that Molyneux had the power to keep Microsoft at bay, and his departure left the remaining staff vulnerable. Around this time, Microsoft insisted that Lionhead make a games-as-a-service fable game or face closure. Microsoft also said that nobody was to continue McKingbox's single-player games, and wanted to make more money from the Fable series. Due to the switch to service games, the idea of Fable 4 was rejected, and experts in monetization and competitive game design were hired to assist the transition. At some point, John Needham became head of Lionhead. Creative director Carr, who had played major roles in Milo and Kate, the movies, and Fable, the journey, left in September 2015, and a new one. David Eckleberry, was brought in. Lionhead encountered difficulty in this project, 
Fable Legends, because they had not done anything like it before. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.